Hello there guys, it's Joel here at Kay Galax and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. I hope you've been enjoying my vlogs recently and as I said in my last one, I'm back today with an AS Clo haul, so a Korean clothing haul. I picked up a lot of jackets, more wintry pieces, so I'm very excited to show you what I picked up. If you're new here to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so that you know when I bring out a new video. At the moment, I'm currently uh, doing like a daily vlog video every weekend and then like a more fashion focused video in the week as well. Don't forget I post outfits nearly every single day over on Instagram so you can check me out at Gallo. Today I'm wearing a fellow YouTuber, Mr. Sanji. Uh, he released three pieces earlier this month. I picked up this sweater and the cargo trousers. There might be some left in some sizes on the website. I'll leave that link below if you want to check it out. I also posted an outfit pic the other day here on Instagram. Oh my god, someone is like drilling outside as soon as I start filming. Of course, that is the way that always goes. Anyway, let's get into the haul. So the first piece I want to show you is this bad boy. I hate how I always say bad boy after everything. Literally every item is a bad boy. Kind of like a puffer jacket, kind of not a puffer jacket. It's kind of like, it's described as an anorak padded jacket. So it is, it's like a half zip puffer jacket with a hood and then like a velcro fastener here at the top. And then it's got like two ventilation zips down the front as well. I just thought it would look really cool, very futuristic kind of like tech wear vibe, which I really enjoy sometimes. Um, and the fact that it's padded as well is great because it just like adds extra warmth for the winter, which we all need. Also one really interesting detail or like bonus for me is that like, the sleeve is like that, but then inside is like an elastic cuff. So I always find this as well, like when you have like a big jacket sometimes and the sleeves are quite big, if it's windy or cold, the cold and the wind seems to like go up your sleeve. Whereas this eliminates that problem. I don't know how far down it goes, it seems quite far, but that is like a really, really good detail right there. This at the moment is looking at $95, around $95 on the website. But yeah, so this is what it looks like on. It is available in three colors as well. I got it in gray because I don't have a lot of gray jackets. So I chose gray, but you can get it in black and khaki as well. Next up, now I'm super, super surprised by this one. This is like, this is a piece of knitwear and it is the softest knitwear I've ever touched. It's got a big face on it, which is really, really cute. On the material list, it says it's a blend of cotton, silk, linen, acrylic, wool, rayon, and polyester, but I'm not sure on the percentages. But oh my God, it's so soft and it's so cute. It's such a nice shape as well. It seems to be kind of like double layered, which makes it even that more luxurious. Um, but it just retains its shape really, really well. It's available in black as well. And it's coming up around $60 on their site at the moment. It's just so, so cute. And like I said, so soft. Like I can't describe to you in my own words how soft it is unless you feel it in real life. It's just... It feels like a super soft teddy bear. It's very, very cute. So, um... Next up, another kind of padded puffer jacket, but this time in a check form. Uh, let me zip it up for you so you can see the shape. This is described as a mock neck puffer jacket. Um, it looks slightly cropped in the body as well, which is a really, really nice touch. I don't know if this pattern is making the camera prang out at the moment. A really, really nice shape. I love the boxiness of it um, and the padding is super thick and super, super big. The zip is really chunky as well, which is always a nice touch. They do this in four colors as well, so you can get it in black, khaki, yellow, and brick. Brick is more of like a brown kind of red bricky kind of color. Plus, I don't have that many like patterned jackets, so I thought it would be a good kind of investment if I got something that wasn't black for once in a while. <laughs> That's coming up at 60, around $65 at the moment. They've got like a discount online at the moment. So usually 
it, like, and each item is discounted differently, so it's very confusing. If you're watching this in the future and the prices are wrong, I'm so sorry. Now, if you'd seen my Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle styling video, which I put up last week, you would have seen this already, but I've literally been wearing it non-stop. It's the cutest tracksuit that I've had for so long, and it's this kind of like mossy green color, and it's super soft as well. So it's a matching set, so with the joggers and the uh, sweatshirt. This comes in so many colors and all the colors are super cute. I'll leave a link to this. In Everything will be linked in the description box below anyway. Um, but this is one of my favorites. And the whole set, let me see, it's also coming in around $65 with the current discount on the site. It is so, so cute and I'm so, so happy about this. It fits perfectly as well. For size reference, I'm 100 and I thought I was 183 centimeters tall, but I'm actually 170, 100 I thought I was 183 centimeters tall. I'm actually 185 centimeters tall. My best friend Tom pointed this out last week when I answered a Q&A and said I'm 183, like my go-to answer. And he was like, I swear you're taller than that. And I was like, am I? So I got Scott to measure me and I'm actually 185. So I'm 185 centimeters tall. And the final piece is another puffer jacket. I need to calm down. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, but it's a hooded puffer jacket. It has this kind of like zigzag panel down the front which attracted me to it, which is really, really cute. It's super, super thick and padded as well. Um, and also you get an elasticated cuff at the end as well to stop that cold getting in. Um, it's super oversized. It's very, very comfortable. It has toggles at the bottom as well, so you can gather it at the bottom if you want it to stay tight to your body as well. All these things are so practical, like I'm kind of shook at how practical I am right now. But yeah, if you'd seen, this was in my Nike Sakai styling video as well, so you might have seen this already, but it's just so beautiful that I thought I would show it you properly. So that is it for my Korean clothing haul from AS Clo. Uh, I've left links to everything in the description box below if you did want to check it out. Just to let you know, whenever you order outside of your country, so in the UK, if we order from like the USA or Asia or Australia or anywhere outside of Europe, we get customs charges. They're different for where you live. They're different depending on the weight of your package, um, how the person sending it filled out filled out their customs form, it's always gonna be different. Every time I get a package from overseas, I usually get charged customs, depending on like the weight and the price of the parcel. Um, so I get a lot of questions all the time with people asking me about if it's normal. Yes, it's normal, it happens all the time. It's gonna happen even more, even more to us in the UK when we leave the EU because we might get charged customs on things from France or Germany. Um, and people in Germany and France might get charged when ordering stuff from the UK. A long list of bad things about Brexit. <laughs> so customs charges will happen. Um, most of the things on AS Clo are only in one size. Um, that's why there's no size options, but they usually have measurements literally on the product page down below. Um, so you can get a tape measure out and see what it would be like on you. And I've never ever returned anything. Um, if I've ever had something that didn't fit, I've just sold it on my e-bloggers where I sell all my secondhand clothes or on somewhere like Depop um, because as we saw last week in one of my vlogs, even returning something to Canada cost me like 50 pounds and it just wasn't worth it. So I should have really measured myself and measured the garment on me before purchasing it because that return process was an absolute mare. Um, apart from that, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.